Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. We all hope for the best, or at least I would hope we would hope the, for the best. Uh, and if you hope for the worst, then there's probably a, a different problem uh, to have to deal with. But if you ever find yourself in a bad situation, uh, if you have a few apps installed on your smartphone, uh, you may be able to, to bail yourself out, potentially before it becomes a bad situation. But even during a bad situation, uh, we, we can save your hide assuming that you have a hide or if you keep your hide hidden a hey, well i think that's that's fine as well we've got an article for you it's linked in the, the the description for this video and you'll like it even if you aren't an iphone owner though the article is titled nine iphone apps to get you out of bad situations and the reason why is because we know a lot of people have iphones like how many iphone 4s were purchased last quarter like somewhere in between a little and an insane amount uh but this could apply to smartphones in general because many applications have equivalents. If you can get it on uh, the iPhone or iOS, you can likely get it now in uh, the Android market. So uh, take a look. The article is there. I'm going to go ahead and plus one it, tweet it, and like it as well. And I, I, I hope you like it. And I hope you like the video. You know that I, I'm about to. I'm about to lay down, if I can use that term here. Uh, you may find yourself in an uncomfortable situation. Potentially, uh, you know, you're, you're on the dating scene and uh, you, you don't know how this date's going to turn out. If you have an application installed, it could uh, let you uh, get a message at some point during that date that tells you, oh, it's an emergency. You got to go. And then you can show it like, look, it's an emergency. I got to go. You don't even need to install that application. Uh, there's, there's one that's dedicated to it. Uh, but we talked about if this, then that, IFTTT a while back. And there are several recipes that can bail you out by sending you a text message uh, at a certain point in time. Uh, now, in terms of applications that we've uh, shared, as well as some descriptions, uh, fake conversation is one of them. Uh, so it's, it's not just uh, able to give you a fake phone call, but also carry on a virtual conversation. So it, it, it's like you're talking to somebody. Instead of you know pressing the phone to your ear and pretending you're talking to somebody, you can you know take it you know a step further. There's fake a message if you hadn't heard about that, faking a text message. Surprise, surprise, that's what it does. Fake calls, it's pretty simple. And then of course there's also a getting out of a bad situation before it's a bad situation. You ever been lost? Yeah, I remember back in the day before we had things like Google Maps or even MapQuest. Uh, we had to rely on maps that were printed out. A few years before certain roads had even been laid down. If you have not purchased or picked up even a free GPS application for your smartphone, I don't know what you're waiting for. Don't rely on a live internet connection because it may not be possible. It may take up a lot of space, but having a dedicated GPS app, you know, even for your area, could come in handy. Especially if you're traveling, but even you know, in your in your own neck of the woods, uh, having a GPS app that doesn't rely on an internet connection is something that we'd absolutely recommend. We've got a few recommendations there, but I just wanted to let you know because that's something that we don't think is going to be a bad situation, then it could actually become a bad situation. Uh, if you are worried about, uh, let's say, speeding, uh, if you haven't heard of the application Trapster, something else you might want to install. Now, I don't advocate that you would go over the speed limit. There are, are rare instances that I do, and if I do happen to go over the speed limit, it's not intentional. I usually set the cruise control, and then I'm good to go. Uh, a bad situation might be uh, you're out of town and you need some kind of vehicle to get you from point A to point B. You don't know uh, any uh, local uh, taxi, uh, I guess, phone numbers to dial. Uh, it's not really practical to find the yellow pages. Maybe the internet connection is down, but you can still make a phone call. Uh, you know, taxi magic may come in handy, uh, give you a starting point at least, uh, so that uh, you, before you find yourself in a bad situation. Now, granted, that may not help you as easily if your internet connection is down, uh, but it will uh, guide you towards a solution to get you from point A to point B. And that point may be when you are, say, overdosing on coffee at some local pub. Not that they serve coffee at pubs that I know of. Uh, they, actually, do they? I have no idea. I've never really spent much time at a pub. Uh, you know, you might need a ride home. And, you know, contacting a, a taxi cab may be better than waking up your friend at 2 in the morning when the bar closes. Uh, Textalizer. Uh, may be uh, something that can help keep you from sending embarrassing text messages. We've got a handful of application recommendations. You know, remember uh, last week on LockerGnome.com, we had talked about uh, 
you know, how to basically uh, get around the problems of sending emails that you probably shouldn't have sent at all. Uh, bad situations happen, and the more you plan ahead, the better off you're going to be. Uh, you know, even though this isn't an application, I, I do believe in, in being prepared, not just because I was a Boy Scout, be prepared, uh, but because uh, last week I had a power outage, but it wasn't a full power outage. Uh, a few years ago, we had an ice storm roll in. I had a generator installed. It was very expensive, but it kicked in automatically, and it saved our bacon. Literally, we had bacon in the fridge and it could have gone bad, but we had heat, we had some amount of electricity in some rooms, and uh, refrigeration. We had uh, pretty much the essentials. Uh, and had I not done that and taken that step forward to keep myself from being in a bad situation as well as my family, uh, it, it could have been a, a lot worse. So I'm very grateful for having planned ahead. A generator is a very geeky thing to have, uh, even though I couldn't get to the internet because I, I couldn't get that, you know, connected and working. So if you have any other recommendations uh, on if you've been in a bad situation, how you've bailed yourself out, uh, how, uh, you know, any other applications that might keep you from running into a bad situation, uh, please, uh, we are all ears and, and mouths. Well, we can't be all ears and mouths. We are partially ears and mouths. Leave a comment, smart remark, if you want, like, like I needed to invite you to do that. Or maybe I did. <laughs>